This Saturday's Finley football game will be the first Oilers season opener at home since 2017. And for a team that had a slow start to last year, playing in front of the home fans might just be what they need to embody their mantra of one team. Hey, we waited an awful long time to get right here. To get right here, right? We're getting ready to go on a trip. We are getting ready to go on a journey, a trip this season. Make sure that you pack all the right things. Yes, sir. Make sure you pack the right mindset. Yes, sir. Make sure you pack the right attitude. Yes, sir. Make sure you pack the right toughness, right? And make sure you pack the right togetherness throughout this week. For 18-year Finley Oiler Corey Allen, his second year as head coach comes with a chip on his team's shoulder. All 18 years, they're different teams. But uh, each year, you got to form that new. The culture remains the same, but the flavor changes each year. The new ingredients will address last year's slow start for the Oilers, who won just one of their first five games. The good news for Finley, though, is that last year's recipe has had time to marinate. Coming off a conference championship, we had to replace some really key players from that 21 season, and our schedule didn't do us any favors. We started seven true freshmen. We knew there were holes to fill, uh, and as those freshmen grew and matured, we saw positive results on the football field. And in the back half of the season, the Oilers were cooking, rattling off six straight wins to finish the year seven and four, tied for runner-ups in the Great Midwest Athletic Conference. Second team All-American lineman Mike Jarrell said the difference was in the details. We just had to pay, you know, a little bit more attention to detail that we did last year, like how we did in the last half of the season. We were more focused, more, you know, hungrier. I think in the beginning of the season last year, we kind of were a little overconfident, and, you know, a little bit of on a high horse because we just had won the GMAC. And that sort of thorough diligence is what helped Finley keep a clean sheet last season. When it came to penalties, only one team in all of Division II received fewer flags than the Oilers. But if there's one message the Finley Oilers will always preach to their players, it's the mantra of one team. You know, talking about yourself first, right? Be the best version of yourself and then add that into the team every day. We believe there is an iron team, right? That it is you. It's, it's what you bring to the table, your God-given talents and abilities to bring into this team every day. Coach Allen believes that when everyone focuses on their job and perfecting their individual craft, everything else around them falls into place. And that's how senior defensive back Jeremiah Jackson describes his team's relationship with fate. Coach always says, you know, we're going to finish what we deserve. You know, we all come together, one team, come together, play for each other. The team bonding this year is, you know, it's unreal. You know, we're with each other all the time. So, you know, the, the whole one team is it's a real mindset. For the first time since 2016, the Finley Oilers will open the season at home when they take on Truman State Saturday at Donnell Stadium. You know, having a home opener is going to be real good for us. You know, feed off from the energy from the from the uh, from the crowd, so that's going to be really good. You know, we don't want to we don't want to let our home fans down, so it's going to be. I already know the atmosphere is going to be amazing. You know, we're going to live up to our standards. So after a long off season, Coach Allen says he's excited for his quality roster to take on this quality opponent. We work to get to the point to play the game of football. We get to do it in less than a week. Do your job today. It's not what you do. It's how you do it. Let's go.